Good morning class. Good morning everyone. In this video, I am going to share with you or I am going to discuss to you how to create a fab icon for your web page. So, this is your first performance task for the second quarter. So, fab icon actually is an icon associated with a URL or uniform resource locator that is variously displayed as in a browser's address bar here this is the address bar and this one is the fab icon or next to the site name in a bookmark list so i have several bookmarks here so these are the fab icons this one for shopee for fiber for my channel the youtube and this for Google and this is the fab icon. We are going to create this one in your web page. So you are going to use only the existing uh, web page you create in the first quarter. So let us start creating your fab icon in Photoshop. First, you are going to open Photoshop. Click Photoshop to open. So I am going to include the download link in this video so just uh, look at the description box below to download photoshop okay so after clicking opening the photoshop you click, click file then you click new and then set the canvas to 16 by 16 16 width 16 in height a uh, unit of measurement is pixels you take you make sure that it is set to pixels the resolution is 72 pixels per inch you make sure the color mode is rgb or red green color red green and blue and 8 bit so this time you click create okay this is now your canvas and it's very small on the screen so you can press ctrl 0 to fit on screen or another way is to click this zoom tool this one click once the zoom tool and then point at your canvas this is the white area you right click here and then you left click fit on screen okay so after that so that you can focus your design that's why we zoom in now you start creating your fab icon so first for instance you're going to design your own fab icon for instance you're going to type only one letter of your icon for example so to type letter in photoshop you click this text tool or type tool you click once and then you point at the canvas and then you click here so once you click or the active tool is text tool at the options bar you can see these are the options for the text and the text is set to blue so you can change the color actually here if you want dark blue just click here if you want red you click here and then you choose dark red or light red and this is the color actually that will come out when you click OK. So for example, you decide to this this blue color and then you click OK. So that's the color actually of the text when you type. This is the size of the text, 18. So you can choose here any size you want and the font, font style here you can choose okay so for example i'm going to type i will decide to type only letter c and then to accept you just move your mouse pointer here this is the move tool so that you can move the letter c at the center of your canvas you click once and then look at the layers palette you can see you have already inserted another layer because in photoshop you are working with layers you are now at the layers panel c so you can drag this one since the move tool is to move graphics or text on the screen 
by dragging this one you can resize actually text by simply holding down the control and then press the letter T on the keyboard see and then you can drag the fill handle to resize if you want to retain the proportion while resizing you hold down the shift key on the keyboard see you are resizing and if you want to zoom out you can press control minus okay to zoom in control plus so again i'm going to resize to fit on the screen and i'm holding down the shift key on the keyboard see i'm going to fit on the screen okay for example you press enter okay this is you have already the fab icon so you can now go back to zoom tool and then if you want to zoom in you can right click and fit fit on screen okay you can now use this one as your fab icon the simple or the simplest way to create a fab icon it's time you click the file save us and then you make sure that the folder where you save your html is the same folder you save your fab icon so for example this is your fab icon you can name your uh, your fab icon as my icon or your last name you can do that you just make sure that because this is case sensitive you just make sure that your file name is the same file name you use in the code okay my icon no space and this is uh, all small letters and you're going to save this one the save at type is you you can use the jpeg so the joint picture expert group or the png or the portable network graphics so in this case since you have a white background it's useless to use png because you have a white background okay so it's not transparent so for example we first create a jpeg uh, icon click this one jpg and then that's your file name my icon and then you you make sure the the folder where you save your html is the same folder you save your icon okay here i am saving it to this top html performance task for quarter two okay the type of file is jpeg and then click save and then click okay okay to test if you can do uh, put this one in your fab icon uh, is just minimize first photoshop and then go to the folder where we save that icon so, for example, in my case, I have saved this one to here, HTML, and this one is the fab, the fab icon, and you can see the item type is JPG. So, you make sure in the code, you also use JPG or Joint Picture Group. So, this is the code. You can right-click this one, and you can open it with, to edit, you open with, notepad plus plus so this is actually your first uh, activity in the first quarter performance task so this is the file that you're going to put a fab icon so edit with notepad plus plus actually without notepad plus plus you can do this in the basic notepad without downloading the notepad plus plus the advantage of using the notepad plus plus is uh, this will actually displace the number line and you can see the it will change colors from blue so in normal notepad it will not change all are similar colors so it's difficult to detect where the error is in your code so since oh this one is actually the code i have put an comment comment this is the comment code in html so that you will understand that this code this line of code is actually the code that will display a fab icon so link real relationship shortcut icon it's rep is hyper uh, hypertext reference then fab icon so this is actually dynamic 
So, our file name we use is the my icon. So, we're going to change this one to my icon. So, this is case sensitive. If you name the file with capital M, you make sure that here is also in your code, it's also capital. So, we use JPEG. So, we are going to change PNG as JPG because we are creating a fob icon which is a JPG or Joint Picture Expert Group. Okay, so let's try to save this one. The type is image PNG. So, you, you can you can as is this one, this code, you can save and then you can try to run the code. Run and then launch in Chrome. See, you have already a fob icon. This one. This is your fob icon. See. So, for example, if you're going to design a fob icon, so another way to create a fob icon, going back to Photoshop here, for example, if you decide to have a circle without these white portions here, you can do that to remove this white portion. So, to do that, you can actually create a new layer. For instance, this button is to create a new layer. So, here. So, meaning this is the arrangement of layer, the top layer. Okay, so, for instance, with this active layer, we're going to create a circle. So, this one, you can use an elliptical marquee tool to make a circle. You right-click this one. So, use the elliptical marquee tool. The use of elliptical marquee tool is you can draw an oval or you can draw a perfect circle in Photoshop. So, you just simply drag. So, to make a perfect circle, you hold down the shift while dragging. You hold down the shift key in your keyboard while dragging. It at, This is actually a perfect circle. Okay, so for instance, that one, and it's not center on the screen. So, we can adjust this one and, and move. If, to fill this one, the selection, with a color. So, you can choose a color here. For example, if you want to fill the color with yellow here, and then you click OK. The shortcut key to fill the selection with the foreground color, foreground here at the top, background here at the bottom, is holding down the Alt and Backspace. Hold down the Alt and then press the Backspace once. It will fill the selection with yellow. Selection is, this is the marching ants. This is actually called the selection. Okay? So, you can remove the selection by pressing Control D to deselect dog. Control D. So, no selection. So, it actually covers your letter because the, your circle is at the top of the layer. You can actually rearrange the layer. You can move this layer at the bottom so that you can see the letter C. So, you just simply point here, hold down your left mouse button and then drag down C. You can move down the yellow and to move the yellow or the circle at the center, you can click the move tool here and you make sure that the, the selection is this one, the circle, and you can now drag, drag to move. Or you can use the arrow key, arrow down, arrow up, arrow left. Okay, so for instance, that one. And then you can now hide this white uh, background so by clicking this visibility icon here okay so this time you can now uh, save this one as png okay so we will try to do this one file save us with this icon and we're going to rename this one uh, for example i'm going to rename this one my icon a 
and then change to PNG meaning this is transparent graphic so no white here so then click uh, save on the same folder save so it's already saved okay then going back to the folder where you save here in my desktop that's my icon a so we're going to change the code so to edit the code here since it's minimized you can click this one and then change the code to my icon a here a so that you can use the recent icon that's png so you change the extension of the file png means transparent graphics then try to save then let us run if it changes your icon okay here you can see it's a circle uh, icon so if you're going to design again to change the color you can go back to photoshop and you can modify you can control j to duplicate a layer you make sure that this layer is active you can press control j and i have already sent a tutorial for uh, the beginners for photoshop in our gc so we click this one for the shortcut key uh, for example i want to cut one circle and i want to make two colors for this circle so or another way is to hold down the control and click this circle and for example i want to fill this one with a gradient color or multiple colors mixed colors you can click here right click and then choose gradient here you can click the color actually and you can mix the color you want here you can adjust so for example you want to cha change the red color you click here then for example you change it to green and this green and then you click ok and for example you are satisfied with this color you can click ok and now you can simply drag using the gradient tool since you have a selection so when you drag from top to bottom it will fill only on the circle so okay so for instance you want that colorful icon press ctrl d to deselect and then you can save now file save as and then for example you name this one as my icon b and you save this to png okay so the folder where you want to save and then save then okay okay let us try to open the code and change it to v here and then we're going to save and then let's try to run if there are changes on our fab icon okay you see it's already or it has been changed okay so that is how to create a fab icon in your web page thanks for watching